as the kids come up and they get ready for their portion of the sermon, let me set the stage for them and for each of us very briefly. Whoever finds their life will lose it. Whoever loses their life for my sake will find it, for the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. That is at the heart of why we would do a week like Vacation Bible School. Why we would make all these crazy decorations and sets. Why we would spend so much time and effort setting things up and then being here with these kids. So that we can show them the love of God. A love that is so strong and that is so deep. A love that is so full and so lasting. That while we were yet sinners, while we were yet estranged, while we were yet far from each other, while we were yet strangers and lonely, while we felt far apart and distant from each other and from God, that's precisely when He loves us. That is precisely when He saves us. That is precisely when our Maker, who has made all that there is seen and unseen, reaches to draw us closer to Him, to bring us to Him, to bring us home. Everybody's got a boss. Everybody's got a leader. Everybody has someone that they look to for direction, for instruction, for value, for worth. Who is it for each of us? Think very carefully because that boss or that leader will pay you the wages due. And the wages can be good for this life, but gone in the next. The wages could seem shiny and bright now, but with age and time, will feel very dull and very small and very worthless. Everybody's got a boss, everybody's got a leader, everyone has someone that we look to to see who are we supposed to be? Where are we supposed to go? What are we supposed to do? What is my real worth? What is my real position? What is my real value? The gift of God, our maker, the one who fashioned us, who breathes life into us, who has our hearts beating even now this morning, is that love that reaches deeper than our worst days, that reaches farther than our most terrible mistakes, that reaches longer and higher and greater than our greatest sadness, and frustrations, our losses, and even our deaths. This is the gift of God, and this is why we do this. This is why we have VBS. This is why we sing. This is why we decorate. This is why we dress up in costumes. Because this love means so much to us, we want it to mean that to them. To take up a cross and to follow Jesus, that's a big call. That's a lot to do. And yet, when you feel his love, suddenly that cross seems very light. And that burden seems very easy. And when he calls us to follow him, suddenly it doesn't seem quite so scary or quite so big because we can trust in a love that while we were yet sinners, he is the one who has loved us first and has given us this gift of eternal life, of eternal love, of a purpose, of a family, of true and lasting and meaningful life, who has given us a home now and always. And so that's our hope and our prayers. These kids sing these songs. You'll sing with them. But they're the sort of songs and this has been a sort of week that will continue to echo in your ears as they sing it in the car. But in your hearts as well. In their lives and in yours. For our Maker who has made us, He will never leave us. He loves us, has a plan for us, and it is His desire to bring us to Him, to draw us together, to give us a family and to bring us home forever and forever and forever. Let's let our kids explain that one to you, shall we? <coughs>